Hey everybody, this is Dr. Sierra, and since it's June, we said we were gonna talk about um, how to do a healthy swap. So what chemicals are in your home that you can swap out for something healthier? So the first one I'm gonna talk about today is synthetic fragrance. Um, synthetic fragrance is hidden in a lot of things. Um, the number one thing that I noticed that people are using is candles. Um, also, it's in lotions, laundry detergents, cleaners, um, perfume, you know, those all have synthetic, th synthetic fragrances. Um, one of the big things about synthetic fragrances that is not FDA regulated, so they say that it's proprietary information and they don't have to tell you what's in it, but most, so 95%, so they'll say pretty much all of synthetic fragrance has toxins in it. Um, the first toxin that's in there is benzene, that's the probably the most common one that you might see or hear about, and that's a known carcinogen um, and the other ones aldehydes and toluene those are known to cause cancer they have birth defects um, which can lead to autism ADHD and things like that um, they also cause central ner nervous system disorders of course allergies and asthmas are associated with that and lots of allergic reactions um, especially when you're talking about um, lotions and creams and things that you put on your skin so um, the last thing that I want to touch on that is a major problem with synthetic fragrances is an endocrine disruptor. Um, if you saw my last video about this month and what we're going to talk about is um, basically a lot of endocrine disruptors have obesogenic properties. So what that means is um, it causes you to gain weight and you don't know why you're gaining weight, but also causes your hormones to just get completely off balance. So for males and females, that's a huge deal. Um, I will joke a little bit that usually we don't talk about men and hormones all that much, um, but you guys have hormones too and you know when they're out of balance or you have too much estrogen or not enough testosterone or when females have that imbalance of estrogen and testosterone it can lead to multiple problems um, it can lead to infertility issues it can lead to thyroid issues it can lead to again the weight gain that I was talking about and sometimes we don't even put two and two together so maybe you have some of those things in your home that I was talking about and um, you know that you need to swap them out. Um, if you are watching this video and you have a friend and you always go over to their house and they're burning a candle, or you notice you walk in their door and you're like, whoa, overwhelmed with that perfumey scent, scent um, you know, share this video with them, like it, send it over to them. You know, again, I'm not here to tell you, okay, you have to go home and throw everything away in your cabinet. I've never been a fan of that. What I'm saying is that next time you go out, let's buy something healthier. Let's make changes one small step at a time. So the first First healthy swap um, that you can make is you can switch out your candles for a diffuser, an essential oil diffuser. Um, they're very affordable. I mean, you can get them on Amazon. If you have questions about essential oils, um, I'll always tell you that I am not the guru on that, but I do use them in my home and you can ask me what kinds I think are great, what kinds I think are not great because, you know, the market has been flooded with them. Um, but go ahead and reach out to me about that or you can comment below if you have questions. Um, or if you um, have an essential oil that you love to diffuse, tell me about it. Um, I'm always looking for new scents and blends. I will say that lavender is probably my uh, one of choice just because it's safe for around kids. And of course, most of you know that I have two small kids at home and I have pets. So um, that's one of the reasons why we always stick to the kids safe things. Um, so you can switch out to a diffuser, put house plants in. You know, a lot of us don't have plants. I am, um, definitely a plant killer so the only reason my plants survive is because of uh, my nanny Sherry she waters them for me and keeps them healthy but house plants are amazing because um, they clean the air and they keep it smelling fresh as well um, even if you got some flowers those smell really nice um, you can also make homemade cleaning products um, and when you're shopping look for products with essential oils um, I don't use a lot of lotions one of the things that I've switched over to using is coconut oil or almond oil on my skin they smell great and they work the same as lotion so you don't really need those. But when I do opt for some lotion or sunscreen and things like that, if they're scented, I'm looking to see if the label is saying scented with essential oils, not saying fragrance on it. Um, and that's because I know that fragrance has hidden chemicals and carcinogens and things that I don't want to be putting on my skin. So um, check out those. That's your first healthy swap for the month. And again, at the end of the month, we'll, um, I'll be showing you in a live demo some different things that I've swapped out. Um, one of the things that I've done at my house, instead of using uh, air fresheners and things like that, I've made some natural air fresheners. So make sure you tune in at the end of the month. I'll show you how to make that. It's super easy. You can use, do it with stuff from around your house. And I made mine about mm, two and a half months ago. And every time I walk into the office at my house, um, I can 
still smell it and it smells great and I know that it's cleaning the air and it's also you know keeping that nice fresh scent in there so I'll be showing you how to make that at the end of the month so make sure you're tuning in for that and again if you have one of those friends that you know every time or a family member you're at their house and you're like whoa overwhelmed with that scent share this video with them and help them make a natural change too so again, I'm Dr. Sierra. Um, on the next video, we'll talk about another chemical and healthy swap that you can do. And um, I hope you guys are all having a great day. All right, bye.